Hi guys, in this bite-sized video what we're going to do is deploy a layer 7 DDoS protection profile against the proxy that we've previously configured. Now to start with what we would do is we're going to tune these values right down so transactions per second and the likes to abnormally low values just for demo purposes but typically what you could do is you would deploy these with the default values um, and then let this run in transparent mode for 7 to 14 days and then you could review this with the F5 Silverline SOC and they could obviously give you the pointers in terms of tuning these thresholds to realistic values. Of course your server admin could look at the log files of the application servers and web servers and determine these transactions per second rates which could then obviously be translated to the policy and applied without further tuning being required. As you can see here we're setting the typical rate based and stress based anomaly detection. Um, we're going to move this straight from uh, transparent mode into blocking mode so that we can see the effects of the attack mitigation that I'm going to demonstrate for you today. Some of the other options that can be enabled as standalone options or as complementary services to the rate based and or stress based anomaly and uh, start with bot protection. Um, obviously this is a behavioral analysis um, option for good versus bad bots. Um, typically if you're going to use this with rate based and or stress based anomaly then we would recommend that you have that set to a upon attack only as opposed to always to prevent uh, false positives occurring. Uh, geolocation, what it says in the tin, uh, you know, if you're not expecting traffic from any of these particular countries, they can be blacklisted from the outset or if you feel that those countries are a threat, you can block them from the outset. Heavy URLs can be configured if you have a, a particular part of your website or web URL that is particularly resource intensive in the back end doing queries or searches and the likes, then you can explicitly um, define uh, these heavy URLs um, to have that extra level of bespoke protection um, as well as the, the standard protection offered by the rest of the policy. And lastly, if you want to utilize capture for any of the bot detection mechanisms within the rate based or stress based anomaly detection, um, this would need to be enabled ahead of time. Okay, so that's our layer 7 DDoS profile created and now it's time to uh, get it deployed. What will happen is at the moment we click that save button, a ticket will be opened up at the F5 Silverline SOC. Um, they'll get the ticket, respond to it, build the profile and then that profile becomes available to us. Once it's in the deployed state, we should be able to then attach it to our proxy. Okay, now that we've got our DDoS profile defined, um, it's time to attach it to our proxy that we set up earlier. Um, so if we just go to proxy management and then select the proxy um, and then if we just select the drop down for layer 7 DDoS profiles and there's our policy there, we'll just add that in and click save. This will create another ticket to the F5 Silverline SOC, um, this time for them to actually apply the policy. So that's our layer 7 DDoS profile configured and applied. Check out the next video in our micro series to see this in action. Please like, subscribe and comment and thanks for watching.